More women are heading afield each year to experience the thrill of hunting because of bold women that have taken the lead in redefining who a hunter is. Women like the First Lady of Indiana, Janet Holcomb, are making substantial contributions to not only their community, but to their country, helping to ensure the continuation of our Second Amendment and the time-honored tradition of hunting. Women that value not only our freedom, but support the culture of the American landscape are leading the way in the hunting and conservation community, broadening its reach within an ever-changing society. Western hunt come true right here. Seen anything wild as you. Even those deer came in 30 yards from me. It's so awesome when it comes together. There he is. To be in this moment right now is like it's pretty unreal. Absolutely perfect. But we got it done. It's, oh my gosh. Yes, thank you, God. <laughs> You sure feel the elevation when you get up here in these mountains, huh? I, you know, worked out all summer getting ready for this. The uh, one thing that I could not prepare for from Indiana is the elevation. Yeah, absolutely. Your first elk hunt in the mile high state of Colorado. We're in the Rockies. Nothing more exciting than that. I'm so excited. And it's a gorgeous day. It's yeah. Perfect for this. It really is a beautiful day. Yeah. What, there's no, man, I'm just hoping we can get an elk to bugle for you this week. I'm just across my fingers. Yes. Yeah. Me too. In early 2008, our home was broken into. We were home asleep. Someone came in the house and stole my purse. After that experience, I just felt very vulnerable and just didn't feel the same security I had felt previously in my own home. I decided to start some self-defense education and started shooting, eventually um, bought my first gun. Found out that I really loved shooting. I um, eventually decided to become a firearms instructor. So we have a very asymmetrical bull, pretty young. He's with a group of cows. He's a neat bull. He is. But he only has two points on the one side. I turned 50 earlier this year and kind of made a bucket list of things that I wanted to do this year to celebrate my, uh, my birthday. My schedule doesn't always allow me to hunt as much as I would like. This was my first big hunting trip really and was able to go to Wyoming to participate in the Wyoming Women's Antelope Hunt. It's an amazing event and I loved being there with the other women. One of the things on the list was doing an elk hunt for the first time. I'm so excited to be here. It's just been an incredible experience. Trade you. Go. Sounds like we're gonna go back to that pond where we were the other night, and if we can get those bulls to talk, we're just gonna hunt them like we would archery season. And I'd really love for you to have that experience. And and if not, then you know you never know what kind of bull could turn up to water at that pond. So. Inspiring movements that broaden the reach of conservation begin with experiencing the marvels that are only found in the wild. 
seen a bull peek over the edge of a cliff like that. It was the most amazing sight to see him silhouetted against the sky. Oh my, and the cows, you know, they were wanting to come down this cliff face, but they didn't have a spot to come over. So they jumped that fence and took off. But there's a chance that tomorrow morning they could have worked through this this draw right here and then down on into here. But that was so beautiful. It, it almost made my eyes water. I mean, it, was just, it was such a beautiful sight. Oh, it was like man. incredible. Not only is he in the coolest spot, but he's the biggest bull we've seen and he's definitely a bull we would have liked to have had a shot at. That's like your first big branch bull you've seen in the wild. These experiences create stewards of the land and solidify the value of the tradition of hunting. These are the moments that you dream everyone gets to experience in their lifetime. Always a bad sign when everything goes from super hot to super not. <laughs> that bull shut down so fast. Well, he did not like it when he bugled. I really thought he was going to step right out when yeah. you were cutting him off. Yeah. He 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 fired up that first time I bugled. He darn near cut me off, and I thought game on. That's and he's thinking. just smart. He's, he's probably standing right there at the edge of the dark timber where he could see up the hill. Yeah. It was really fascinating to hear how he moved through the woods, through the, the cover with his, uh, with his calls. You could tell he was getting closer and closer, he was responding. So it was really exciting, really fun. Yeah, he was screaming too. He was screaming right there. They scream like that during the rut. It's very rare you hear him scream like that in October. He was fired up. As First Lady, I have a lot of interesting opportunities. One of my favorite events each year is the Craig Family Camp Women's Event. We have women that come out to shoot that have probably shot maybe once or twice during the year. And we have women who've never shot, never even held a gun. Everyone goes away with a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more confidence. And I love seeing that. I love seeing the smiles on women's faces as they begin to feel more empowered and comfortable and confident. My husband is not afraid of strong women and he really helps promote women in the state. He has always been incredibly supportive though of me and encouraging me to pursue my interests and my passions. There are a couple of pieces of legislation that I'm really proud of. One is establishing a shooting sports facility at one of our military bases. It's called Camp Atterbury, and we've partnered with the NRA to create a state-of-the-art shooting sports complex there. We will be hosting a lot of the NRA competitions, and I'm really excited to have them there.
farther out than those other ones. We're gonna try to cross the river. If we can cross the river, we have a shot at catching them as they move away. Stay on him. Stay on him. Great shot. Good job, Janet. Thank you. Here Finally. you go. Here you go. Good job. Good job. <laughs> wow, well, it's a little emotional. Um, you know, it's it's always a little sad when you take a life, but it was a great hunt and it's an honor that this animal has given his life. I'll be able to share this meat with people that I love, and so I'm, uh, I'm just giving thanks for that. Women like Janet are critical to ensuring the future support of hunting and protection of our Second Amendment rights. Janet is a cultural leader enacting positive change in the state of Indiana as she empowers other women as an instructor to experience firsthand the importance of the right to bear arms and the right to protect and provide for ourselves and our families.